It seems like just yesterday that Hillary Clinton was praising Bernie Sanders' evolution on gun control. Actually, it was three weeks ago. And I'm glad to see this. Senator Sanders has really moved in face of the facts about what we're confronting in our country. But suddenly, Clinton isn't as impressed as she used to be. Lately, she's been hammering Sanders for backing a 2005 law that protects gun makers and sellers from lawsuits if the weapons they provide are used in crimes. You know, President Obama and I and Senator Sanders were all in the Senate at the same time. Two of us voted against what the NRA says was the most important piece of legislation in 20 years for the gun lobby. Sanders now says he's willing to reconsider that law, but he also claims he doesn't get the gun control credit he deserves. Bernie Sanders has a D minus voting record from the NRA. I supported a ban on assault weapons, and over the years I have strongly supported instant background checks, doing away with this terrible gun show loophole. Still, when it comes to guns, Sanders doesn't sound like the other Democrats. I think half of the, more than half of the people in my own state of Vermont, my guests here in New Hampshire, are gun owners. Uh, that's the right of people. It's not clear which approach would serve the Democrats better in the long run. The public is ambivalent on guns, supportive of both universal background checks and the NRA. What is clear is that the Republican nominee won't be ambivalent at all. But what happens when the bad guys have the assault weapons and you don't? Donald Trump used to back an assault weapons ban. Not anymore. And he thinks gun-free zones are idiocy. That's like candy. When, when these sickos see a gun-free zone, their eyes light up. Then there's Marco Rubio, who says President Obama has a secret anti-gun plan. His plan after the attack in San Bernardino? take away our guns. But for pro-gun style points, it's hard to beat Ted Cruz. Machine gun bacon. <laughs> Which doesn't mean some other Republican won't try. Adam Riley, WGBH News.